Panama, without a doubt, is one of the greatest big game fishing destinations in the world. Panama, the name itself, means abundance of fish. Black marlin, blue marlin, giant yellowfin tuna, they're all found here in the offshore waters of Panama. Not to mention the incredible inshore fishing that Panama has. The rooster fish, Kubera snapper, yeah, bluefin trevally, huh? abound in the waters of Panama. Woo! Yeah! But I decided to invite my friends Eric and Mo to come down so that I could share a little bit of my fishing here in Panama with them. We're gonna go get in the middle of some of our world famous tuna boils today. I just feel fortunate to be able to experience this in my life. Glad to share it with you guys. Look at that. My life is consumed with fish. fishing. Fishing in the ocean, fishing in the rivers, fishing in the lakes. I'm obsessed yes. with fishing. Unbelievable. The farm ponds in Tennessee, the trout streams of the Rocky Mountains, Panama, the Bahamas, my backyard. Multi species, multi tackle. Pursue my passion. My obsession. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm obsessed, obsessed with, with fishing. fishing. What a fish! I've got a couple great friends from Venice, Louisiana, uh, Eric and Mo Newman, who've invited me to fish with them on a number of occasions in their home waters. Eric and Mo Newman uh, run and own Journey South Outfitters from Venice, Louisiana. This past fall, we had a, a few great shows. My wife came down and we did a couple great shows with Eric and Mo. Uh, we did a a snapper show on the rigs where we were chumming live bait. Had a great, great time. We also did a tuna show with them and catching yellowfin tuna and blackfin tuna behind the shrimp boats. It was total mayhem. And then Mo took me out and we did a little bit of red fishing. The redfish capital of the world. Yeah. So turnaround's fair play and I invited them to come spend some time with me in Panama so I could show them my fishery and what we have done here to develop it. Isla Secas has been a really important part of my life for the past five or six years. Uh, my family comes down and lives with me. My wife homeschools. My kids get to hang out and play in the tide pools and catching boas and iguanas and, you know, eels and octopuses. And every day they meet me at the dock when I get home. It's just, you know, it's, it's what family life should be. That's the way we do it in Panama, right here. Welcome, Viva Panama! Thanks, Mo. You yeah, like that? <laughs> the other thing I really enjoy every single morning, this is my walk to work. This is what it's like living on an island in the eastern tropical Pacific. Every day I walk this path down to get in my CV, meet my guest, and go out fishing some of the greatest big game waters that are known. Can't tell you how fortunate I feel just to have this as a part of my life. It's pretty special. All right, guys, what do you think? A little tuna today? Little? Like, you mean in size, or let's catch a little? Let's go get, well, let's go some. catch a lot of tuna today. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. I That's heard right. the bite was pretty good off of Hikarita yesterday. Hopefully we get on some nice ones. I think we're gonna get them. I call first fish. First fish. <laughs> Imagine that. She's quick on that one. Yeah. She? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're Good right. Morning. Good morning, Captain Kid. Hey, Juan. Morning, buddy. Good morning. Que pasa? Todo bien. Todo bien. Love getting on these boats every morning. There's nothing like it. Oh, wow! Y'all got, got bait. Juan's been making bait. <laughs> well, Holy we start with cow! Seven. I like that snapper. Giant. A little chatter on the radio. It sounds like uh, one of the boats found a school of tuna yesterday down by Hickorita. So oh, that's a fun I fish. think that's a good plan is to go down there and look for some of that going on. I guess they were trashing bait pretty good. It will be, it'll be fun. Real we fun. can find those. Heck yeah, man. No doubt. I'm up for it. Can't wait, buddy. Can't wait. When the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. Oh, one's on, one's There you on. go, one. Oh, I'm on. Oh, yes, baby, double hey, doubled up. Hey, I called first fish. Doubled up. That's the way to start. What do you say? Viva la Panama. Viva la Panama. <laughs> After the break. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. The obsession of Carter Andrews is powered by Yozuri, engineered to catch. CV Boats, lead the way. Ray Marine, don't just go fishing, go hunting. Underwater with Ray Marine. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. All right, we're off to Hickorita. Sounds like a pretty good tuna bite there yesterday. It's gonna take us a little while to get there. We got about 40, 45 miles, and then we're gonna just be looking around. So let's get going. Sounds beautiful. Nice overcast day, good tuna day, man. Yes, sir. Can't wait, buddy. Can't wait. I call first fish. First fish mo. <laughs> Man, what was she calling herself? The rooster queen? Yeah. I think it was the rooster queen. That's about to change today, buddy. It's going to be the tuna queen? <laughs> we just made the run down to Hickerone. This is the area the tuna have been in the past few days. We just came off the edge from about 250 into 500 feet of water and we're just gonna, we're gonna poke around and hopefully find a school of porpoises. Our tuna typically are traveling with schools of porpoise and, um, and just kind of wait it out. Look at the porpoise. We're really down here at the corner. If you look at the, at the charts, Hickerone sticks out the furthest. Hickorita sticks out the furthest. And the Koiba Ridge continues on out. Pass. So this is a, a funnel place. The fish have got to actually, if they're coming down the edge of the continental shelf, this piece sticks out further than any other piece on the mainland. So they wrap this corner. And a lot of times, when we first start seeing a lot of tuna, this is one of the areas before they push up into the Gulf of Cherokee. And they're coming to the Gulf of Cherokee typically because of the amount of bait we have in there. Is that all runners? So right now as we catch them coming around the corner, I mean that's what we're looking for, just groups of fish moving in to the Gulf of Cherokee. We're gonna get on them, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I mean, some of the best yellowfin tuna fish in the world is right here in Panama. All right, put in these porpoise right here. What, 12 o'clock? One o'clock, two o'clock, go, go, go. <gasps> what was that? You can hold yours, Mo. Good bust up here, man. About 200 yards. A big blow up. It wasn't a porpoise either. Oh, one's on one. There you go, one. Oh, I'm on. Oh, yeah, baby. Double it up. Hey, I called first fish. Doubled up. That's the way to start. What do you say? Viva la Panama. Viva la Panama. Hey. <laughs> Slide back a little bit, let Mo get up front and make her cast. Let's triple up. Have you got there, Eddie? Mo, they're all over you. Hey, buddy. I'm reeling, I'm reeling. Give me a little dap, give me a little dap. I think I need to throw another bait. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, pumpkin. Oh, boss, I got color, boss. There's I got one. Color on both sides. Let's go straight to the bow. A little dinner for the island. We'll start out with a couple small ones. Look at that, Yozuri. They love this bait. Skipping on the surface. Huh? It's just like the old ones. Thank you. That's a little nicer tuna than Juan's. Bales open. Feeding the island. Woo! Thank you, big boy. Take a little of that bath. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got an experienced crew right here. You see I almost put that hook in my foot? That's why you wear shoes. That is why you wear shoes on a boat right there. Oh, look at my shoe. Carter, thank you, sir. 
Thank you, Juan. Well done, Eddie. That was beautiful, guys. Beautiful top water explosion. Yep, and I didn't get any of it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Let's see go ahead go, to the go, left. Go, go, go. You go first, and I'll go second. Right now. Go. When the obsession with Carter Andrews continues. Oh, oh, big one! What? Good one. Good one. Big one. what a strike! <laughs> nice one, man! What yeah. a strike, Juan! After the break. Juan's got a big one on the smallest rod we got. Please join us online. Visit the Obsession Facebook and Instagram pages. For special offers and more on this program. The following is brought to you by Yo Tsuri. Fish the best. Man, look at the paint job on that lure. I mean, it looks just like a flyer. Bull by Yo Zuri. A little pink, I think 80 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon, the new HD. Loop knot, Stella, Max Quatroy, Therese Poppenrod, Tuna Slayer. That's a hard combination to beat right there. You've got superior distance with casting, great popper, and there's nothing else like the Stella. There's, there's not another spinning reel on the market that can hold up day in and day out like that Stella. I've caught you know, 10,000 pounds of tuna on one of those Stellas over the course of a couple seasons. It's just, they're it, and they're, there's, there's nothing that compares to them. And I put those tuna in the boat fast. Let's go ahead go, to the go, left. Go, go, go. You go first and I'll go second. That way? Yeah. Right now, go. They're everywhere. Go to, go to my other side. Oh, oh big one! Oh, my God. Good one! Big one! What a Ooh. strike! Nice one, man! What yeah. a strike, Juan! Juan's got a big one on the smallest rod we got. That's how it works, usually. I want his cousin. <laughs> Still going. Juan picked up the smallest rod big. in the boat. He got the biggest fish so far. It's all about teamwork. Yep. We're throwing poppers in front of the porpoise school and getting these tuna bites. And this is kind of our standard program in Panama. But if you find porpoise and the amount of birds we see working, the tuna are up on top and they're feeding really good. And we're taking advantage of that right now. He's got himself a 65 pound tuna on the 8,000 Stella and the little Therese. Oh man, great fish. Nice job, Juan. I see why he's a little trouble under the chin. Yeah. So hold on. Let's be careful. We want this fish. Got to feed the island. Whenever you're ready, Eric. One stud fish on that oh, outfit, man. buddy. You see? Huh? Look at the size of that fish. Oh. Stella 8,000. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> look, at like that, look at that little bait, man. You know, it's, it's really fun. I get to go down into Louisiana and experience all this with Eric and Moe and their fishery and to be able to reciprocate and bring them to Panama and share this fishery with them is, is you know, that's what friends do. That's what friends are all about. And, you know, hanging out with Juan all the time and watching him. You know, he started with me when he was 19 years old. And now he's one of the best captains down here in Panama. And uh, it's just fun being a part of this whole program and watching everything progress. Um, I see the tuna crash and the birds working. We've got to get back at it. All right, we're going to get in one more good volley of fish. Mo, hopefully you get your bite then. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. You're going to get him. I'm not worried about it. And then after one of these guys gets another one, I'm going to come, come I'm going to come down. I love it. I'm obsessed with these tuna, man. There's nothing like pulling up to a school, throwing the lure, working it, and getting the bite. It's It's a good a bite in fishing as you'll ever have. This looks good. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. Halfway between us and the porpoise, they're underwater flashing. Get ready for it. Cast to one o'clock as far as you can go. Go, go, Bo. As far as you can go. All right, y'all are all in it. Everybody's in them. Everybody's in them. Come on, yeah! Joe! Keep it yeah, tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. What a bite! Reel, yeah, reel, reel! I can't reel! You gotta keep reeling, keep reeling. All right. I'll get her the hooky. 
What a bite. Good job, Dad, Mo. Make it I could see him underwater flashing. Man, he detonated on that thing. Man, finally I got a chance. Through a one o'clock, like Carter told me. And it came up. Woo! Yeah, Mo, you got him! It's all about the speed. You got real, real, real. <laughs> he doesn't give. Head's down, I can't get his head turned. We're working on it. I'm good. I'm sweating and a little pain. That's what makes it worth it, right? Never give up. Never. This was easy, everybody would do it, right? Got him, Mo. Huh? Got him, Mo. Look at where this popper is. I don't even think it's really hooked. Oh, yeah, man. You need help? Mo, look you at got this. it? Look at this. That is look at look at where the popper. Like one huh? hook, one hook at the roof of his mouth. Well, that other one just other, came out. The other here. hook at the bottom of his mouth. That's perfect. Huh? How about that? Yeah. Look at that popper. Torn up. That's what it's about right now. All right, here. let's see if we can get a good picture of him before. I got the tail. Okay, you got the tail. Oh. Look at that. What a fish, Mo, on the popper. Did you I like finally, that bite? Yeah, I finally got it. One o'clock, <laughs> game on, right? All right. Please join us online. Visit the Obsession Facebook and Instagram pages. For special offers and more on this program. The Obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Shimano and by Kuda Fishing Tools. Fierce, tough, proven. Man, how many turtles have you seen today, Carter? Oh, this is this is what it's normally like. Yeah. Whenever I see a lot of turtles, I know I'm gonna have good fishing. <laughs> That's what I call good tuna fishing right there. Look at this thing. That's what you get when you're in a wide open tuna bite right there. Carnage. So, you know, it's amazing. They don't stay in one place. They're always moving. They're ram ventilators too. They can't sit there like a grouper or a snapper sucking in, moving water through their gills. They have to be moving forward. They're constantly on the move. And if there's, if they come up like that little boil we had just then, let's say there are 50 baits in there and those fish come in, boom, 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 boom. And then they're gone. There's no reason for them to hang out. There's a big ocean and they're still on the move. They're constantly having to feed themselves. Imagine the mass of food that is consumed on a daily basis. What do they have to eat in a day to keep them going? You know, like I said, there's a thousand porpoises in the school, plus you got all the tuna following them. I see a group of porpoises swimming there. You see that? Oh yeah, I see them, I see them. Was that tuna? Halfway between us and the porpoise, they're underwater flashing. Behind the porpoise, okay. Cast one o'clock as far as you can go. Go, go, Mo. As far as you can go. El Capitan one. That's tuna right there. Oh, yeah! Mo's on! Oh, look at that! Oh, come on! Oh, triple, 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 you got a good one? Yeah, if it's the one that ate it. Oh, mine pulled, mine pulled. Go again, Mo, there, go babe. again. Good, gone. Good release. Good release, huh? Yeah. Tripled up. I tell you what, man, it doesn't get any better than this. Ever since I met Carter, I've been dreaming about coming to Panama. This and now we're wailing on him. This is so cool. Can you ask for any more? We make three casts and we're tripled up. Good thing all three of us didn't have this fish on. He looked real thick when he came straight at the bait. Looked like he had, he's pretty thick. Look at that fish, look at that fish. That is gorgeous. Y'all don't want to kill him because guess who would have fish of the day? Get on a tuna bite like this. You know, that's why people come to Panama. They come from all over the world to come experience this. Even Louisiana.
Good release. Got him. All right. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Wow. Woo! Perfect release. Really enjoyed getting to show you all this. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, that was pretty fun. Oh, top order tuna bites. Ever, and everybody did a good job. Everybody got tuna. Yep. yep. I'm glad we got to see it. How about we head home? Yeah. Sounds great. I got a couple I got a couple stops on the way back. See if Mo can get another rooster. We'll spend another 30 minutes or two or three spots and call it a day. Call it a day. Go see what the girls have at the dock for me. Yeah, I can't wait to see the treasure. Right, they're gonna have something. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What's up, sweetheart? Hey Haley, you got anything in your bucket today? Look, oh look at the brittle star. Wow. Let me see. Look at that. He's beautiful. Can I hold him? Well, y'all did a good job. You know, that was just um, another good day of fishing in Panama. I love it when we get on those tuna schools like that. Throwing the lure, working it, and getting the bite. It's as good a bite in fishing as you'll ever have. And uh, getting to, to share that with Eric and Mo after all they've done for me in Louisiana. Uh, always fun having Juan with me. And I just, uh, I can't wait to get back out and do a little bit more of that again tomorrow. <laughs> Life on the islands. Gotta love that, right? That was a good jump. Wanna do it again?